Hello. Hello students. Hello and welcome to the new lecture session. Myself Shankho Hosh, Assistant Professor of Automobile Engineering Department at Dr. Sudhir Chandra Shubh Degree Engineering College under the JIS group. Today we will discuss on, on modern vehicle technology. This is the seventh semester automobile engineering students subject. Today we will discuss on a new topic that is called airbag. This is the the module number two topics under which is known as the suspension brake and safety. So students before start the class need to know something about this airbag. The objective of this to understand the vehicle safety the airbag uses its working procedure its fabrication and its chemical reactions and the outcome of this subject is that students easily understand the, about the vehicle safety working working of airbag the necessity of the airbag the material used in the airbag and it, its fabrication and also known the component which is used in this airbag so students let's start the class on airbag and airbag is a vehicle occupant restraint system an airbag is a vehicle occupant restraint system using a bag designed to inflate extremely quickly designed to inflate extremely quickly then quickly deflate during a collision it consists of the airbag cushion a flexible fabric bag and inflation module and an impact sensor the purpose of the airbag is to provide a vehicle occupant with a soft cushioning and the restraint during a crash event it can reduce injuries between the failing occupant and the interior of the vehicle the airbag provides an energy absorbing surface between the vehicles occupants and a steering wheel instrumental panel body pillar headliner and windshield the modern vehicles may contain up to 10 airbag modules in various configurations including driver passenger side curtain seat mounted door mounted b and c pillar mounted side impact knee bolster inflatable seat belt and pedestrian airbag modules now comes the history the airbag for the the airbag for the covering of aeroplane and the other vehicle part traces its origin to a united state patent submit in the year of 1999 by the two dentists Harold Round and Arthur Parrott of Birmingham England hand in them and it is approved in the year of the 1920 the airfield bladder word in the use as early as 
1951 the airbag specially for automobile use is credited independently to the american john w hetrick who filed for an airbag patent on 5th august of 1952 ford built an experimental fleet of car with the airbag in 1971 and followed by the general motor in the year of 1973 the using in chevrolet vega so then this is the history of an airbag now come to the working during collision during collision a mechanical switch during collision a mechanical switch is flipped and <coughs> sorry flipped and an electrical con contact takes place sensor send an electric current to the inflation system the inflation system contains two material or two chemical that is one is sodium azide and another is potassium nitrate electric current hits the filament which ignites the capsule containing the nitrogen gas the gas then expands quickly and inflation of air bags take place which literally burst from its storage site in the steering in the steering wheel so student when the gas expands quickly the inflation of air bag takes place that is that is literally burst from its storage site in the steering wheel so this is the working of air bag now comes to the chemical reaction of this air bag inside the air bag inside the air bag is a gas generator containing a mixture of nan3 kno3 and si o2 when the car undergoes a head on collision when the car undergoes a head on collision a series of three chemical reaction a series of three chemical reaction inside the gas generator produce gas produce nitrogen gas to fill the air bag and convert nanc which is highly toxic to harmless gas sodium azide or nan3 can decompose at 300 degree celsius to produce sodium metal and the nitrogen gas the signal from the deacceleration sensor ignites the gas generator mixture by an electrical impulse and creating the high temperature and creating the high temperature condition necessary for sodium azide to decompose to decompose the nitrogen gas that is generated then fills the air bag the purpose of 
sodium azide and silicon oxide is to remove the sodium metal is remove the sodium metal which is highly reactive and potentially explosive material by covering it to its a harmless material at first the sodium react with the potassium nitrate that is kno3 at first sodium react with the potassium nitrate kno3 to produce potassium oxide that is k2 and sodium oxide <coughs> that is na2o and the additional nitrogen gas the nitrogen generated in the second reaction also fills the air bag and the metal oxide react with the silicon dioxide that is si2o sio2 in the final reaction to produce silicate glass that is na2o3 si which is harmless and stable the first period metal oxide such as sodium oxide and potassium oxide are highly reactive so it would be unsafe to allow them to be the end product of the air bag detonation so therefore the first reaction is that is that sodium azide reacted and divided into two one is sodium and second one is nitrogen that is 2na 2nan3 divided into 2na and 3n2 with nitrogen gas then again this so sodium <coughs> sodium react with <coughs> then the sodium react with the potassium nitrate that is kno3 and it comes out potassium oxide that is k2o then sodium oxide na2o and then nitrogen gas and the third reaction the potassium oxide and uh, sodium oxide and potassium oxide react with the silicon oxide silicon dioxide and then it it uh, produce silicate glass that is na2o3 si so this is a three step reaction is occur inside the air bag after knowing the chemical reaction now comes to the components of the air bag the air bag system consists of three basic parts one is an air bag module second is air bag control unit third is a diagnosis unit some system have on or off switch to deactivate air bag system so here in this picture shows this is the switch is air bag system on and off if we on this air bag system that means if the collision is happening the air bag opens and when the when the air bag is off in off mode that means after the collision the air bag is not open so this is the on or off switch we use in the vehicle next is air module this is a picture of air bag module it contain both an inflated unit and the lightweight fabric <coughs> air bag the driver the driver air bag module is located 
in the steering wheel hub the driver airbag module is located in the steering wheel hub and the passenger airbag module and the passenger airbag module is located in the instrumental instrument panel when fully inflate inflated when fully inflated the driver airbag is approximately uh, driver airbag is approximately the drive the diameter of the of a large beach ball the passenger car passenger or bag can be two or three times larger the passenger airbag the passenger airbag can be uh two or three times larger since the distance between the right front passenger since the right front <coughs> passenger and <coughs> the instrumental panel is and the instrumental panel is much larger the instrumental panel is much larger then the distance between the the distance between the driver and the steering wheel so from here we can understand that the <coughs> air bag which is used for the passenger is in large diameter than the driver's air bag next is air bag control unit here the picture of ecu or electrical control unit in the main controlling unit of main controlling unit or the brain of the entire passenger safety system the issue not only sends the firing signal to all the airbags but in the case of smart airbag system it control the force at which some of those airbags are deployed this control unit are part of more advanced <coughs> so a part a more advanced smart system that can sense whether the front passenger seat is empty and if so will keep the passenger airbag from deploying the electronic control unit also send the signal to the seat belt retention devices and the roll over protection bar in convertibles the control unit is constantly receiving sensory input from the sensor mounted around the vehicles and make the necessary calculation to allow it to deploy the appropriate safety system the electronic control unit is typically mounted in the center of the vehicle in the area that provides the best protection some of the first generation unit had capacitor that could take approximately 10 to 30 minutes for the power to drain after the 12 volt battery view was disconnected today's vehicle however have capacitor that drain within the seconds car must still be taken however during execution operation to ensure that the ecu is not damaged this could 
this could inadvertently cause the issue to deploy an airbag an even more advanced system and even more advanced system senses the weight of the <coughs> the weight of the front seat passenger and even more advanced system senses the weight to the front seat passenger can either deploy the airbag with the more or less force that is depending on the passenger's weight one of the later amendments to the federal motor vehicle safety standard 2020 208 requires that all vehicle manufacturer after 207 are required to be equipped with the type of system the purpose of this type of system is is to perform one of two functions depending on the vehicle keep the front passenger air bag from deploying it unoccupied or sense the weight of the occupant in the front seat and deploy the air bag with less fixed less force if the passengers are in passengers in smaller or with greater force for a larger person some systems are very simple and only sense the presence of a person while on the seat other we other can differentiate between a child small adult or a large adult this type of system called an occupant classification system or the smart system use a sensor in the seat belt uses sensor the seat belt along with the dual stick or d power frontal air bag the smart system can also sense the severity of the crash using the accelerometer so students these are the air bag control unit next is sensor the crash sensor are located either in the front of the vehicle and or in the passenger compartment vehicle can have one or more crash sensor the sensor are activated by forces generated in significant frontal or near frontal crashes only and not during the sudden braking or while driving on rough or uneven pavement by function there are two types impact sensor and <coughs> setting sensor the forward sensors are located in various location forward of the passenger compartment some are located inside the fenders some are on the cowl some are attached to the core support in front of the radiator rear sensor are also known as the setting sensor as their function is to determine the a crash has occurred 
rear seating sensors are located in various location in the passenger's compartment depending on the manufacturers some are integrated with the console diagnostic module the rear seating sensors must close before the crowd sensor to avoid airbag deploy in cases where the impact is not so severe enough to cause deployment when the vehicle is parked with the ignition of deployed is very unlikely because there is no power to the circuit for deployment so airbag impact sensor sometime quality called cross sensor or important safety features of your vehicle this sensor located throughout your vehicle detect a collision and trigger the airbag to go off there are usually there are usually found at the front of the vehicle behind the front fender to detect the frontal impact and in side column to detect the side impact the exact number of location of airbag sensor will have vary from one model to another but those are the most frequently used these are the most frequently used location next is mass type sensor and an impact sensor which is shown in this figure which is normally fitted to the front of the vehicle as this is where a collision is likely to occur the sensor is positioned inside the engine and a similar safety sensor is located inside the passenger zone of the to the vehicle this safety sensor is required to measure the intensity of the collision to determine the where whether the impact is over <coughs> whether the impact is over a certain threshold to justify release and an airbag both type of sensor work on the principle of detecting a decrease in acceleration by a moving vehicle and generate an electrical impulse so so these are the <coughs> mass type sensor and its figure is that next is roller type sensor the roller type sensor are shown in this figure this roller type sensor involves a weight connected to a coil spring component a weight is connected to the coil spring component like the mass type sensor during impact with an oncoming vehicle the metal weight the metal weight is forced forward the metal weight is forced to the forward which alerts the tension which alerts the tension on the coil spring to manipulate the electrical circuit that closes of the closes of the sensor contact so <clears throat> this elect <clears throat> sorry so it is important to note that so it is important 
to note that the impact and safety sensors the impact and the safety sensors must activate must activate and close off and close off at the same time to allow for deploying the deployment of the air bag so students you can see here is a picture of the roller type sensor where this the wire spinning electrical contact and the weight this is move in this direction to the contact this is the basically sensor at in rest condition and here is that the sensor at the impact condition main part basically the main parts of the airbags is first one is the airbag second one is the inflator and the third one is propeller in this figure this is the igniter or inflator ignition this is the ignition intensifier and this is this and this is this is the propellant pellets and fill this is a filler and heat sink so students these are the three main parts of the now comes to the materials those are used in the airbag in case of airbag nylon 6 nylon 6.6 woven fabric is used as raw material this fabrication may be coated and or it may be non coated inflator stamped stainless steel stamped stainless steel or cast aluminum is used as the raw material of the <coughs> inflator inflator next is propellant in the form of black pellet is primarily sodium azine combined with an oxidizer the propellant is in form of black pellet this is the primarily <coughs> sodium azide combined with an oxidizer now comes to the manufacturing of the airbag the airbag production involves three different separate assembly that is namely propellant inflator and airbag fabric some manufacturers buy already make component such as airbag or initiators and then just assemble the complete airbag model so soon let's start with this propellant the propellant consists of the propellant consists of sodium azide mixed together with an oxidizer manufacturer receives sodium azide and the oxidizer from outside of vendor they are mixed together at sophisticated computerized process control they are mixed together at a sophisticated computerized process control after blending the propellant mixture is sent to the store after the completed the proper blending the 
propellant mixture to send to the storage next one is inflator inflator consists of metal consider the filler assembly stainless steel wire mesh with ceramic material inside and igniter this sub components are received are received from outside vendors and assemble and assemble together the inflator sub assembly by com is, is combined with the propellant and an initiator to form the to form the inflator assembly the inflator assembly is then tested and sent to storage until it is needed now comes to the fabrication of the air bag air bag fabric is the most popularity made by using nylon 6.6 fiber dupon elite signal kazo and tore are the major fiber supplier of air bags both woven and non woven fabrics are used the fabric used to make a driver and the passenger air bag are quite different generally the air bag fabrics are woven on rapier weaving machine or air jet bloom when the air bag material has been finished it is cut into the panel by laser the shone with the inflator assembly so student these are the fabrication of the air bag now come to the parameter of the air bag small fabric thickness it has to be small fabric thickness low specific fabric weight high density in wrap and weight um, weight direction as well as toughness high tendency for further tearing high elongation good resistance to aging heat resistance up to 900 degree celsius good resistance from uv light low and very even air permeability reduced cost precisely control gas permeability excellent seam integrity improved reliability and pack the height and reduced value or burn so the resistance so student these are the main parameters of the air bag now comes to the various types of air bag basically there are four types that is frontal air bag side air bag knee air bag and inflatable seat bag first one is frontal air bag frontal air bag means the driver's air bag and the passengers who is sitting beside the driver and they there and these are her air bag so these are the air frontal air bag which is placed in the frontal front side of the vehicle and in in interior of the it is side bag side air bag which is placed on the side of the car to stop the or to protect from which is used to protect from the side impact next is knee air bag knee air bag is used to control or to prevent the 
knee from a during the collision next one is inflatable seat belt this is basically used inside the seat belt which is held the so this is the another type of air bag which is placed inside the seat belt the seat belt is tied the passenger with the seat to protect the from the collision during protect during the collision so these are the types of seat uh, <coughs> air bags so now how the air bag is checks turn the key and look at the dashboard to find the air bag light on for 7 to 10 second and then it goes off and then it goes off the problem occurs when light does not come on if light does not go off after a period if light comes while drive so students this is the air bag system from the cell where the outcome is that we can easily understand the about the air bag bigger safety the air bag is how much air bag is important what are the components that are used in this air bag system what are the working principles of the air bag system what are the various types of air bags and what is the material that is used in the air bag and the chemical reaction of the air bag so students this is the air bag in the next lecture session we will discuss a new topic so still then stay at home and stay safe thank you thank you so much